Hello students, welcome back to the economics class. As we know all in our previous class, we studied what the movement along the demand curve and we saw the relationship between demand and price and how the demand will changes according to the change in the price. When the price will increases, demand will decreases and when price decreases, demand will increases. Okay, this is what the movement along the demand curve. But when the demand will shift, okay, when there is change in the price of other related good and when there is change in the income of the consumer and when there is change in the taste and preferences of the consumer, then it will lead for what shift in the demand curve. Right, and now in this class we are going to studying the shifts in the demand curve. Right, now let's see the explanation here. The demand curve was drawn under the assumption that the consumer's income, the price of other goods, and the taste and preferences of the consumer are given. Right, see so here. Here we will draw the demand curve. Already we draw the demand curve on the assumption that the price of other related good, the income of the consumer and the taste and preferences of the consumer are constant. But here now we will draw the demand curve on the assumption that the consumer's income, the price of other good, the in taste and preferences of the consumers are given. Right? Now let's see what happens to the demand curve when any of these things changes. Okay, what happens to the demand curve when any of these things, these things means here the consumer's income, the price of other good and the taste and preferences of the consumer. Okay. Now let's see the first point that is when there is a change in the income of the consumer right when there is change in the income of the consumer then what will happen with the demand now let's see the explanation here here they given what the price of other good and the preferences of a consumer here they given what the price of other good and the preferences of the consumer if the income increases right if the income increases, the demand for goods at each price changes. Okay, if the income of the consumer increases, then the demand will changes. Okay, how it will change, we will see next year. Hence, there is a shift in the demand curve. It will lead for what? Shift in the demand curve. Right now, let's see the point here. For the normal goods, demand curve shifts rightwards. Okay, see here. Listen here very carefully. When the income of the consumer will increases, then demand will also increases because the people will demand more and more goods. Okay, because their income increased. And when the income of the consumer decreases, the consumer's demand will also decreases because the consumers will demand according to their income, right? This is what the relationship between demand and income. Then what do you mean by normal goods? Normal goods are those goods when the income of the consumer increases, then demand for normal good will also increases. And when the income decreases, then demand for normal good will also decreases. Right? The example for normal goods are daily usable goods like vegetables, fruits, cloths, etc. Okay, these are called normal goods. Then for normal goods, the demand curve shifts rightwards. For normal goods, demand curve shifts to the rightwards. And for inferior goods, the demand curve shifts leftwards. Okay, this one I will explain uh, next year. For, then tell me what do you mean by inferior goods? Inferior goods are just like opposite of the normal goods, right? When the consumer's income increases, 
then demand for inferior good will decreases and when the consumer's income decreases demand for inferior good will increases the examples are finger millet pearl millet fox tail millets are the best example for the inferior goods right now next let's see the following diagram shows you the shifts in the demand curve now take here here the demand curve is shifts to the right word okay here the demand curve shifts to the rightward because when there is uh, when there is increase in the income of a consumer the consumer's demand will also increases it means the demand curve shifts to the right and when there is a decrease in the income of the consumer it will leads for what decrease in the demand for a commodity it means the demand curve will shifts to the left okay increasing means it will shift to the right word decrease in the demand means it will shift to the left words right now next is when there is change in the price of related good when there is change in the price of related good then what will happen with the demand now let's talk about uh, here when there is change in the price of related good here they given what the consumer's income and his preferences his taste and preferences if the price of related good changes if the price of related good changes the demand for good at each level of its price will also changes how see here if the price of other related good if the price of other related good increases then the demand for that good will other other good will increases and when the price of related good decreases then demand for that particular good will also decreases just like tea and coffee these are just like the substitute goods when the substitute good just like there are i given the example of tea and coffee when here coffee is just like the other related good coffee is substitute of tea when the price of coffee increases then demand for tea will increases because when the price of coffee increases the consumers will shift to the tea and they will demand more and when price of coffee decreases then the demand for tea will decreases because the consumers will shift to the coffee because the price of coffee decreased and automatically the demand for tea will decreases right this is what uh, the change in when there is change in the uh, what here the price of other related good it will leads on change in the demand and hence there is a shift in the demand curve if there is an increase in the price of other good the demand curve shift to the right word if there is increase in the price of other good the demand curve will shift to the right word increase in the demand means it is shift in the right word and decrease in the demand means it is shift in the left words if there is increase in the price of other related good it means there is increase in the demand it means what here the demand is shifted to the right words on the other hand if there is decrease in the price of other good the demand will shift to the left word okay here increase means that is right word and decrease means that is left words okay when there is increase in the price demand will shift to the right words and when there is a decrease in the price demand will shift to the left words now let's see the third and very important point that is when there is a change in the taste and preferences of a consumer okay when there is change in what taste and preferences of a 
consumer. Now let's uh, see some points here. The demand curve can also shift due to change in the taste and preferences of the consumer, right? Means the demand curve will also will shift due to change in the taste and preferences of a consumer. If the consumer's preferences changes in favor of a good, the demand curve for such goods will shift to the right words. Means if the consumer's taste and preference will changes, then the demand will also changes. Okay, means uh, the preferences changes in favor of a good, the demand curve will shift to the right word because the demand for that good will increases. If on the other hand the demand curve shifts leftward, when the demand curve will shift to the leftward, when there is a decrease in the demand, it will shift to the leftward. When the demand will decrease is due to unfavorable change in the preference of the consumer. Okay, why the demand will decrease is here due to unfavorable change in the preferences of the consumer. The demand will decrease is due to that what here the demand will shift to the leftward. This is what the change in the uh, taste and preferences of the consumer. And now this is what the shifts in the demand curve. This curve which shows the right shift and the left shift of the demand curve. On the OI axis we have measured the quantity demanded and on the OI axis we have measured the price of the goods. Okay, when the demand decreases, when the demand decreases, the demand will shift to the left. It means DD curve to D2 curve. And when the demand increases, it will shift to the right, that is D2, D1. Okay, this curve will show you shift in the demand curve. Now in the next class, we will uh, talk about the elasticity of demand. Elasticity of demand. That is very important for your examinations. Right? Thank you.